Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Fiona and I'm a full-time artist. And on this channel, I like to take you with me on my artistic journey, whether that means working in my studio, going out to see cool art exhibits, getting art supplies and sharing my haul with you, basically any art related content. So if that sounds like something you're into, please like and subscribe. Today, I will be sharing with you my birthday art haul. I know it has been quite some time since I have done an art haul and I received generous gifts for my birthday. Some are also self-gifted, you know. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to open all of this with you and share it with you and I hope you enjoy it. Also, I am using my AirPods to try and reduce the echo in here. I apologize if the audio isn't great. I am still working on that. Please bear with me. Okay, and also, really quick, thank you to the friends and fam who got me gifts. I will not shout you out individually to make things awkward, but just know I am very, very thankful, um, and I am grateful for all of you and my gifts. So, let's get into it. Okay, this birthday bag won't stand up. Like, this is me, like, holding it up. That's, there's some heavy stuff in here. So we're gonna start with the heaviest in here. Ta-da! It is an entire case of jelly gouache. And it comes with a handle. How cool is that? And let me just open it real quick. You just unclip the sides and the lid comes off. And let me show you. So this was something I asked for um, because I was seeing it on other YouTubers and I thought this looks really cool and I really want to try it. So it was kind of on my Amazon wish list for a while. Um, but when you open it, you can see it's a nice tray. They give you a little card with all the colors. Cute little postcard. <laughs> um, so this is the gouache color chart. And then there's a little thank you and another color chart. But there are 56 colors in here and you can see they're all packaged up. So I will open some of them so we can take a look. But how beautiful is this? Like, and they all come in these little pods and just the packaging. You can even feel it squishy, I love it. So I've never tried jelly gouache. I've never tried jelly gouache, but I am interested to learn. The colors look so vibrant um, that I just really, really wanted to give it a try. Can I close it? 
but I love the handle because it is quite heavy. Like, this is heavy duty. That's a lot of wash. All right, let's move on to the next thing. The other thing I asked for was a butcher tray. So let me take this out. Okay, so this is an 11 by 16 butcher tray. It comes with a little card here. Um, all metal white porcelain coated pallet tray. So I had like one of those like round plastic pallets and I, what I kept running into since I am a very messy artist is that it kept flowing off the edge when I was trying to mix and it was hard to kind of keep it contained. So I really wanted one of these butcher trays since it has the lip it'll keep everything contained to the tray, which I liked a lot. And um, yeah, I mean, nothing particularly fancy, just really simple and I'll be able to have a wider palette. It's also bigger than my last palette. So I'm, I'm excited to try it out, but that is that. Next. Next is this Moleskin Limited Edition Sailor Moon Notebook. <laughs> um, for anyone that might follow me on Instagram, knows me in real life, I'm a huge Sailor Moon fan. Clearly, crescent moon tattoo. Um, but that was really sweet that someone gave me this and I love that it's Moleskin because y'all know if you've seen Myler Hall's, huge fan of their notebooks. Um, and it says plain notebook. 240 plain sheets, acid-free paper, and it's um, five by eight and a quarter size. So let's open it and take a little look and kind of feel the paper out. So you can see the front, it has Luna and this like little embellishment of the crescent moon. And it has like this just to keep it closed. So it's opening it. I'm gonna take off this. Oh, it has the Sailor Scouts inside. That's really cute. Can you name all of them? Comment below. <laughs> but this is adorable. And then it looks like there's another little paper in here. It says, get on the same page as Sailor Moon for adventure, friendship, justice, and love. Aw, very, very cute. So it's just like a little promo piece about it and telling you it's a moleskin uh, limited edition. 25th anniversary Sailor Moon. So there you go. And inside the first page, there's like a little motif here and then a please return to if lost. So you can put your name and contact info. And then, yeah, just getting into it. It's blank pages, which is great. It's very thin, just what you would expect. Acid-free paper, very smooth but very cute, so adorable. All right, let's move on to the next. Okay, this next item is once again, something I've been wanting to experiment with. Usually with birthdays, you can kind of go two routes. You can get the stuff that's like essential that you always use, or you ask for the things you never buy for yourself and this is one of those things for me. So it is a Mr. Resin Premium Craft Resin Pack because I have been playing with polymer clay and trying to make jewelry with that. And I just feel like from the videos I've watched on how to make jewelry that using resin would kind of help take it to that next level. The packaging for this is actually smaller than what I thought because I think it was meant to come with like a UV um, thing to, to coat it. Um, but you know, we'll give it a shot. Oh, here we go. Yeah, they do. It does come with a lamp. Interesting. Um, and it tells you UV resin cures fast. You can expect the following cure times. So if you use a 36 watt LED lamp, one to two minutes, 48 watt is four to six minutes. Direct sunlight is five to 10 minutes. Indirect is 30 to 40. Um, adding pigment or glitter will increase cure times and cure time will vary depending on the size of the art. 
So that's actually interesting to know too, that you don't even actually, if you have a sunny day, you don't need the lamp. You can just leave it in direct sunlight for five to 10 minutes. Good to know since I have a lovely sunny studio. Um, but yeah, cures crystal clear, smooth, non-tacky finish, bubble free, non-yellowing, stays liquid until cured. So that's open it. The other side here has like all the warnings about resin, which I'm not even going to read or get into. If you decide to get a Mr. Resin for yourself, please read all of that before you get into it, okay? Let's take um, a minute and open this. Let's do it. Okay. So first we have the little instruction manual and then we have these little plastic cups. I'm assuming to keep your resin in, it has like sort of a little nib so you can pour. So here is our hard type, fast curing, crystal clear Mr. Resin. And oh, this, this is the lamp. Oh my gosh. It's so funny when you look at things online because I thought this was like big, <laughs> you know, but look, it's a little... <laughs> Here's the legs for it. So just open that up. It's a little tiny baby lamp. That's actually pretty cute. I'm not sure how much I'll be able to get under there, but if it's a pair of earrings or something, not bad. Very cute though. And it says Mr. Resin on off 45 seconds or on off 60 seconds. So I'll have to play with the settings and it gives you a little cable to have it plugged in and um, instructions for how to use the lamp. Very, very cute. It's so tiny. It's a little baby lamp. But for me, this is good since I'm completely new to trying out resin and it's just something I'm experimenting with, um, like I said, for jewelry. So I'll give it a shot and I'll let you guys know what I think. I'm just gonna put this all back. Oh. Oh, there's more stuff in here. Always more. Um, oh, 30% off your next order. That's nice. And then I'm assuming these are like little tools for spreading the resin around. And it has a lot of different nibs. So you have a sharp one, sort of a, a flat one, a rounded one. So it gives you a few options. That's good. All right. Now I'm actually pack repackaging this. And I'm gonna have it aside for when I get to do this, which will probably realistically not be until the holidays because I am busy through November. But maybe in December, I can make myself some holiday earrings or something cute just to experiment. All right, next. And this is the last thing in our giant bag. So giant bag is going away, goodbye. Okay, um, I can't show you the front of this because it has our address on it, but this is like not necessarily art related, but it is small business related, woman run. We love that. So we're gonna show this. It is chunks. So they do really adorable hair accessories and the packaging is super cute. As you can see, I love the colors, the checkers and just open it. And I got, my request was a checker claw clip for the hair. Now that my hair is longer, my hair was up to here this time last year. So now that my hair is long, claw clip for the studio, you'll probably be seeing that look. <laughs> but how cute is that? Very well made as well. And I got just some berets in these cute colors. Um, just because I've been growing out my bangs, so it's nice to have to clip it back. But I feel like the colors are really cute. And they're strong enough to keep my thick hair back in place. So anyway, just thought I would keep that in the art hall, although it's not necessarily an art supply. <laughs> It is because I need this to clip my hair back so I can work on my art. There you go. I made an excuse, okay. <laughs> so that is that. 
So, um, another thing someone got me were just two canvas tote bags and fabric markers. Because once again, something I talk about but never do myself, I'm like, oh, I really want to try like drawing on some like canvas tote bags, making some little designs, but I just never buy that for myself. So it was really nice to have that gifted to me. So let's open one of these. There we go. So you can see just a plain canvas tote bag. And so I got two of those. And then here's the fabric markers. Um, it says dual tip fabric marker, crazy colors. There's 20 colors apparently. Um, so let's open it and take a look. I have never used fabric markers that I recall. Like, I mean, certainly not in my work or anything, but I'm trying to think if I ever have in my life. I don't think I have. I usually just use my Posca markers whenever I've drawn on like sneakers or something. Okay, so here's all our colors. You can see all the way through the rainbow. Um, we'll just take one of these out and you can see it's double nibbed. So we have like a thicker with a flat nib. Um, it says t-shirt liner, super markers, fabric, colors should be air cured for at least 24 hours for best results. Fix colors by ironing. So that's good to know. Um, they're from usartsupply.com and here's the thinner nib on this side. Um, but that's cool. Do they smell? Nope. They're not smelly markers at all. For some reason, I assumed like fabric markers would be like really alcoholic smelling, like strong smell, but I guess that's not the case. I don't know what I thought when I thought of fabric markers. Why would they be alcohol based? That would not work out well. Anyway, this is what it looks like. I have a ton of them and I'm really excited to try it out and do some tote designs. And who knows, maybe if they come out good, there'll be some totes in the holiday shop coming November 18th. Um, the other thing that I'm including in my art haul, although I'm not, it wasn't necessarily a birthday gift. Um, I went to Beacon over the weekend with my husband. So you can check last week's video, I believe it was for that. Um, and we went into a cute little store and picked up some things. So one was this graphite pencil. So what's interesting is, you know, most pencils have wood and then they have like a piece of graphite in the middle. Um, but this is full on graphite. So the whole thing is usable. Uh, the other thing that they told me in the store was be careful not to drop it because it will shatter. So very fragile, but um, I like the weight of it. I like the feel of it. And I'm gonna have some fun maybe trying out my Sailor Moon sketchbook with this. <laughs> color monolith it's a 6b pencil and it looks like it's made in austria cool um so yeah that's that and the next thing that we got while we were in Pekin was this little um tea or towel tea towel i guess you could say and it says i just want to be a stay-at-home dog mom <laughs> <laughs> so of course my husband picked that up for me because he knows I'm obsessed with our dog and um, I just want to spend all my time playing with her but I can't do that because I am a working artist uh, but in my studio I have like a towel that I'd stole from our kitchen that I've been using makeshift so I think he felt like here you go now you have an official one for your studio that can go back into the kitchen and we are all good but it's really adorable it's actually bigger than what I thought. And you can see just a dog motif on it. Very cute. <laughs> All right. 
moving on. The next thing was a package that arrived from my mother. So my assumption is that this is going to be something related to ceramics, but I don't know because I actually haven't even opened it yet. So let's do that now. Oh, a box within a box. That's always fun. Empty. Thanks, Amazon. Okay, this says expires October 1st of 2022. It's something that expires, guys. Oh, it's a Mako designer liner. Okay, great. So it is something ceramic related. Let's open it. It's actually interesting because I didn't even know liners expired. I've had mine for ages and they still work. I mean, you kind of have to give them a good shake or mix them up, but the glaze works. Oh, there are a lot of glazes in here. Um, so here's a little like how to make fine lines using it. They give this to you every time. I probably have like five of these laying around. Um, but this is what the bag looks like that the liner comes in. It gives you product notes and tips for use on the back. And yeah, when you're using them for glazing, I just have like a little plastic cup and I pour it into that, but it does have a nib. So if you're doing like thicker lines, you probably could just use this to do your glazing. But for me, I use a brush and I put it into a plastic container, but this is what it looks like. Um, so this one is black liner, which is what I tend to use the most for all the fine detail work. I find that liner works a lot better than like the spectrum ones. They tend to expand a little bit, if that's the right word. Like the, I'll do like a thin line, but then when it glazes, it kind of thickens, whereas this stays very crispy. Um, so we've got black, white, red, blue, green, brown, which I've actually never used the brown. I still have a, a full brown of the other one. Maybe I need to try that out. Um, yellow, orange, bright green, and finally bright blue. So excellent. Lots of different color options here. And I no, I will make use of it. It's something I always use in my ceramics. So I'm just gonna repackage these and we'll move on to the next thing. So next is my Patreon rewards from Natasha of Sad Trims. Link in description, definitely check her out. Love her stuff. I got like a major haul like two months ago cause she had a shop launch and I had jewelry and stickers and all of this. Um, but this is just my regular monthly. So let's take a look at it. I mean, how cute is the tape too? So cute. Okay, so this is actually the, is this August Rewards? I think, I think this is August Rewards. There's always more in here, she's so cute. She always sends so many little stickers and things. Okay. Aw, Sleepy Shrimp. So this is one of the stickers. And then this is a little flower sticker. A little note from her saying thank you and i love the the design on it very adorable um yes so this is august rewards but this is actually really cute and i'm going to show you what this is about okay i'm back so if you are a patron of hers she has this little collector's album and you're able to fill it with your sticker rewards so she gives you a backing for it and you just slip that in there and then the matching sticker and how cute is that and obviously the hope is by the end of this that you uh collect all of them so i'm just gonna slip this in here just to show you da, 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 da. so i have a full page now and it's rainbow how cute how cute is that Anyway, definitely check her out. Oh, and then this was the postcard. This is just a little backing that can go over there. Um, 
It says sleepy girl. It says I'm tired and that's okay. And she has some plants around her. Very, very cute. I love it. And I'll be putting that on my mood inspiration board in my office space back here. Um, but yeah, so awesome. Love Patreon rewards. Okay, next. So what is this? Aha, uh -huh. this is interesting. So I saw on um, Golden Medium's Instagram page that they were doing like a sample giveaway of some of their paints and you just had to like fill out a Google form and they would send you some. So I got this package from Golden Artist Colors um, and I think they are matte, low gloss, non-reflective flat paints, but they're a new thing of theirs. So let's open it and see what it looks like. So this says, thank you for trying our new so flat matte acrylics. New paint is the culmination of several years of work balancing opacity, matte surface, pigment load with flowing level quality to help minimize brush strokes. The result is paint that makes it easy to create immersive fields of rich matte color without distraction of texture and glare. There you go. They said they're excited about it. The true test is what you think. So they want us to do comparisons and probably provide feedback. So they have like a little email or on their website that you can go. So if you want to check it out, you can go to goldensoflat.com. Cool. Um, so when you open it, this is a little packaging here. Cute. It says you can call these colors matte, low gloss, non-reflective, or flat. Call them anything but dull. All right, let's open it. All right. So when you open it, it says 40 all new acrylic colors. And this is the setup and they give you red, yellow, and blue to try out. And they're just in these little plastic casings. It kind of reminds me of perfume samples actually. <laughs> I'm wondering if the packaging is the same. But anyway, uh, I'm interested to try those out since I do very graphic work and there is some planes of flat color. So I'm interested to try it, but it's stuck to here. So I can just peel this off here, trying not to rip it. This is what it looks like. And then you can just rip here and squeeze the paint out. So I'm very interested to try these and I'll let you guys know what I think. Um, and let me know if you guys have tried it and maybe try and get some samples for yourself because it was free. I just put in my information and they sent it. So cool, cool, cool. On to the next. Okay, this next thing was a self gift. And um, I don't know if you guys are more than likely familiar with um, Furry Peach here on YouTube. Amazing YouTube, really inspiring does beautiful, bright, colorful, illustrative work. Um, but she did a shop launch and I got myself some posters and stickers. So let's open it and take a look. Who doesn't love a little birthday self, self gifting moment? I like it, I'm into it. And of course, as an artist, it's great to support other small businesses, women artists, we love, we love to do this. All right, I'm so excited to see these. And I was so having a hard time deciding what to get because all her stuff is so amazing. I'm just gonna slip it out of here because this envelope's a little sticky and I don't wanna get anything on there. So let's just slip that out. Okay, goodbye envelope. That came all the way from Australia, so Shout out that that came and it arrived safely. Um, so cute. This is a little thank you card, which I mean is art in and of itself. It says, thank you for helping me bloom. Weird times, hope you're doing okay. Oh, so cute, adorable. And then I got these jumbo sticker packs, which I thought were really neat. Um, I love that they're just like oversized sort of holographic stickers. Have to shout out the backing. Super simple, but really nice. And then these are the stickers. So we have this little mountain with a flower on top. Magic exists. Holographic here. Um, a little storm saying let it out. 
an egg being cracked open and being like smiley face and then this little daisy so these are all really shiny really cute and i love like i said that they're like you know jumbo size like fits in the palm of my hand very very cool um and then i got a couple of prints and large stickers so this is like a larger decal than what i thought but this is some big flower stickers here you can see they're quite large i think this is like an eight by eight here um i don't know where i'm sticking it yet so i don't want to make it too sticky but i do want to show you what the color looks like so i'm just gonna peel this back just to show you but see how vibrant that green is so you can imagine what that looks like underneath very very cool i don't know where i'm gonna put these yet but we'll see so a little little flowers there and then this is just some wrapping paper here but also very cutely designed has her furry little peach, some cactuses, some stars, little cute house, like everything is branded. We love it. And here is the print I bought. Oh my God. So the colors look amazing on my camera I'm seeing, but in person they're even more vibrant and amazing. How wonderful is this? So you can go to her YouTube and actually see her process of how she made this, but this is a beauty. It's definitely getting framed and going on my gallery wall downstairs. So very excited for that. Okay. Let's get into the last items that I have that are bigger, but I'm gonna put this away first. Oh, there's a UPS guy outside my window. Is he bringing me more birthday gifts? No, he's not. He's going to my neighbors. <laughs> the greed in this one. Look how much I've gone through already. Okay, next we have a large, very heavy box. It says wooden display. And this was something, once again, kind of wanted, never got for myself. So uh, family kindly gifted me, as I said, not gonna call out who got it for me because I'm not, not trying to play favorites. All right. Ooh, that was loud, but it is a wooden easel. So you guys see me in my studio working and I'm always working like overhead flat and that's because I don't own an easel in any form. <laughs> uh, I've never been somebody to work like on a standing easel. I think I did in college, but most of the time I work pretty flat since I'm dropping a lot of color on there. But you know, it does start to mm, get a little tight up here. So I thought maybe if I get like a desk easel, that would be comfortable for me. So here it is. I'm gonna flip it to the side here. And what you do is lift the top. And you have the little notches here and you just take this and you just put it at like whatever angle it is that you want and ta-da i have an easel to work on um what size is this bad boy 23 by 16 inches that is a big boy um i know the link i found for it was on Amazon. I'm going to do my best to link as much stuff as I can from this haul in the description below. Uh, I'll be using my Amazon affiliate link. So, hey, helps me out if you get a little something. Um, but hey, nice easel, right? Very, very nice. I'm excited to give this a shot because my shoulders will thank me. <laughs> you can see the back here. Cool, let's go on to the next. What was funny about the easels, they didn't include any 
thing else. It's just the easel. There's no like packaging or how to, but I guess it's pretty self-explanatory. You figure it out. Okay, last is this bad boy. And this was something I saw my friend, artist friend, Maria Doring post. Um, it is a drying rack for drawings. And I had said on Instagram, oh man, I need one of these. And then I was so kindly gifted it um, by a friend, not a, uh, or a family, I should say, not by um, the brand, not sponsored. But hey, look, Lee Valley, if you want to sponsor me, please do. Um, anyway, we're going to open this real quick. It's pretty big. I actually need to figure out where I'm going to put this in my studio. Because basically you hinge it to your wall and then it comes out like a drying rack and you can clip drawings to it. Um, and that would be really helpful for me because I have large drawings and then they're just like laying on the floor or taking up table space. Um, and then even storing them, some of them are so big they don't fit in my flat file. So this is great. So there is a ton of packaging. That will be getting recycled. Woo, more packaging. All right, da, 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 da. here's the actual thing. Jeez, there's more packaging in here and the receipt. We're just gonna take this box and... <laughs> I'll fix that later. Um, okay, so. This is it, it is aluminum, 100 centimeters it stretches out to, temperature resistant. It is all in Spanish, so I can't read it. There's a bit in English here. Important assembly note. For proper assembly of drying rods, make sure the position of the long bar on each end of accordion arm, such it faces in and the short bar faces out. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna open this and take a look, but I probably won't be showing it mounted until I do my studio tour. I know I've been requested to do a studio tour by many folks. Believe me, friends, it is coming. I am just still working on finessing my space up here, but I promise you will get a studio tour. It is going to happen. Um, okay. Let's take this apart here. And then, how do I open the box itself? I think this is meant to slide off. Oh, it's taped at this end. That would be why it's not moving. Da, 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 da. Oh, here we go. So this is the box that comes in. You can see the accordions here. Um, pieces. I thought that maybe some of it would be assembled that I could uh, take it out and show you how it works, but I'll just show you over here or here uh, what it looks like in Maria's studio. So you can see what it looks like assembled. And like I said, I will be doing a studio tour and on the studio tour, I will have this as a part of that because I am not going to waste time. I am going to mount this to my wall.
I am going to mount this to my wall. Okay, friends, that's it. All done. So let me know what you guys think. Is there anything you would like to try? Please check the description below to get more details about products. And I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, stay well and stay inspired, my friends. Bye.